we have uh, just under 50 working contract roles um, within different projects. A lot of them have come from private industry, so that's why I say, you know, I know that there's, you know, there's opportunities there. Um, where, you know, I kind of got into this 85% situation is when I started my business a long time ago, but back in 2002, um, I was rebuilding at that time. And I got a foothold in the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. And they're big, you know, so I started with one agency and I, they referred me to another agency, referred me to another agency. So even though it's one client, I'm scattered throughout in a lot of different areas. Um, and it, it was, it just became um, easier than going out and finding other business, obviously, because the reputation was there. And, um, you know, here I am. <laughs> I've heard some some ideas, and looking at the um, nonprofit is actually, I think, a very interesting um, and and probably natural adjacent move. And I think that's probably one that I, I want to look at as one of my my top choices um, because the nonprofit business that I have came from somebody that I worked with at Commonwealth who moved to nonprofit, yeah. and the. Um, the government obviously does a lot of work with nonprofits, so I think that there is a lot of there'll be a lot of synergy there. But one area that we didn't touch on that was in our kind of ideas was working with women in technology, and whether or not that is um, something that could be a potential viable um, strategy for us as well. Being a women business owner and somebody who cares about women progressing along in their careers, working specifically with women in technology and working with companies that have diversity initiatives potentially, to try and help promote them and help promote them in their careers. There's a lot of um, uh, organizations that, are, uh, that try and help um, work with women in technology but not necessarily place them in jobs and I haven't found any other company that we're really focuses on helping women get into new opportunities. You know, the very gross split that we were doing was public or private at the beginning, mm -hmm. and then I think what we've gotten to is a much more nuanced view uh, <laughs> that there's public, but you know a lot of public folks come from nonprofits or from uh, you know semi-public agencies, you know the mass ports of the world or whatever. <clears throat> and then you get to universities, which I think Mike Mike described as uh, little miniature governments. Um, I think some of them would think of themselves as large dominating governments um, and nonprofits and so on. So um, it's not a black or white either or. Um, you really have, and again, this gets back to kind of that map of the adjacencies. My guess is that uh, if you scrutinize this, you'll find some nice places that uh, it's never easy, um, but that uh, uh, you can port your success in one area more uh, easily and more quickly um, into those.